This is the final part of our lesson on L. In this lesson, we're going to look at L at the end of words. Let's once again review how we make the L sound. Now I want you to picture this inside your mouth. Here are your upper teeth. Here are your lower teeth. Behind your upper front teeth, there is a hard bump. This is the roof of your mouth. The main point of contact is between that hard bump and the tip of your tongue. You press the tip of your tongue against that bump. As you go back, it feels like right here, this is the middle part of your tongue, is being pushed down. But in the very back, it really feels like a tight ball. Your tongue is very tense, very tight. It's bunched up, almost as if you're going to swallow the tongue. Let me finish drawing this for you. Okay. So try to picture that. This is L in the final position of words. Tip of the tongue presses against that hard bump. As you go back, it feels like it's being pushed down. And right here in the very back, it feels like it's being squeezed. It's bunched up almost like you're going to swallow your tongue. Now this point of contact right here is especially important when L is in the final position. When L was at the beginning of words and then was followed by a vowel sound, we dropped our tongue down. When it was in the middle of the words and we had to make another vowel sound or lead into another consonant sound, we dropped our tongue down. But in this final position, we're going to keep the tip of our tongue pressed against the bump. In words like call, call, as you finish the word, the tongue does not drop down. It stays pressed against that bump. We'll also look at words like middle, middle. This word has two syllables, mi, do, and the stress is actually on the first part. It ends in an E, but the final sound is an L sound because the E is silent. It's especially important in words like middle to keep the tongue pressed against the tip to clearly pronounce the sound. If you go too fast or drop your tongue, your speech will not be clear and you can be misunderstood. Let's try some exercises. Exercise 1. In the list below, the L is unstressed, but you still need to take the time to fully pronounce the sound. So keep the tip of your tongue pressed against that bump behind your upper teeth. Remember, the back part of your tongue is very tense. Repeat after me. Pencil. Final careful, beautiful, helpful, towel, oval, circle, triangle, table, little, middle, purple, Puzzle, pickle. Exercise 2. In the words below, the final L is part of a stressed syllable. Let's take the time to pronounce the words and keep your tongue pressed against that bump behind your upper teeth. Let's say the words reading across from left to right. The vowels are all the same in each line. Fall. Paul, tall, wall, fail, pale, tail, whale, feel, peel, t, 
heel, wheel, file, pile, tile, while, fool, pool, tool, wool. Contractions with will also have the final L sound. Let's say them. Isle, Yule, Heel, Sheel, Idle, Wheel, Veil. Sometimes L can be silent, so you have to be careful. The first five words listed below are very common, so let's take the time to make sure that you're pronouncing them correctly. Listen and repeat after me. Talk. Walk. Could. Should. Would. The yellow part of an egg is the egg yolk and one pattern in clothing is polka dots. Let's try some exercises. Exercise 3. Here are some sentences. Listen and repeat after me. Paul is tall. Be careful behind the wheel. The whale has a long tail. That's a beautiful towel. Do you see the purple circle? There's a little pickle on the table. Exercise 4. Listen and identify the statement you hear. Here's an example. Did they get a goal? Number one. Take a seat. Two. Where did they get the wheel? Three. Hold the ball. Four. I see a carrot. Five. What do you feel? Six. How did you put it? Seven. There's a war. Eight. Let's choose a meal.